even though I'm now fully a jazz singer and a hot player and an actress, there was a time in my life I was mostly a classical piano and a harp player. I was lucky enough that my mother was an artist in her own right, and she enrolled me in various classes, music and dance classes, since very early age. An important point here is that musical education or extracurricular activities have no comparison in terms of pricing. It wasn't cheap, but and it was still an investment for my mother, but it was not a luxurious education. So I would like to invite you to discover or to learn even more about French composers. I wish there would be more of our programs after a short introduction. Hi, my name is Margot and I'm a French performer living and working in New York City. If you are interested in cross-cultural or living abroad stories, this channel is for you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be aware and notified of the future contents. When American friends are sharing their love for French classical music, I often have a pinch in my heart because only a couple of composers are mentioned. Basically, Ravel or Debussy, or Debussy and Ravel. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I've been a professional orchestra harp player for over 15 years in France, and I've been a piano player since I was seven. Ravel and Debussy are amongst the gods of classical music. But there are other composers that I would like you to know, as they are amongst my best memories of my previous classical life. If you like Debussy and Ravel, please have a look at Fauré, Poulenc, Pierney, and Roussel. Treat yourself and listen to the wonderful Mass of the Villerville Fisherman, La Messe des Pêcheurs de Villerville. It's a gem that Fauré wrote with his former pupil, André Messager. Poulenc was a complex and multi-sided composer. He was also a fine piano player. So I would highly recommend you have a look on the chamber music piece, which is the Sonatine for Flute and Piano. He was also very oriented on cabaret, so he wrote a cycle of songs called The Bestiaire. Last but not least, his religious music is astounding. Please have a look at the Stabat Mater. The problem is, is when I'm trying to get the French pronunciation or the American pronunciation on French words, it's messy, whatever. <laughs> so, Gabriel Pierney, Gabriel Pierney, was also, and still is, among my favorite chamber music crushes. He also wrote very nice pieces for harp. So I was introduced to him through different uh, angles. But I would really recommend to listen to uh, the Piano Quintet, which is a vibrant piece that always gives me chills. Last but not least, in the shadow of Debussy and Ravel, there was a great composer and orchestrator whose name was Albert Roussel. Please have a look at the Spider Fist, Le Festin de l'Araignée, which is among the ultimate best orchestra memories I got. Hope this video was entertaining and you'll get a chance to explore more about the less known pieces of those amazing composers. In the next episode, I will share my experience as an actress in America, more New York City, versus France, more Paris. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. A bientôt. Take care.